Good evening, brothers and sisters. Good evening, brothers and sisters. All right, that sounds good to me. I have the distinct honor to introduce to you an individual who in our union, when I first met him, we named him Mr. Organize, Organize, Organize. But in 2006, he was elected as the National Secretary Treasurer. And he's been going all over this country talking about mobilize, mobilize, mobilize. And that's what we're going to do tomorrow. So I give you, without any further ado, the National Secretary Treasurer for AFGE, J.W.J. Cox. Well, good evening, brothers and sisters. You know what? Hey, we're on the eve of another great day for labor, are we not? Another great day. And you know, I want to tell you what a privilege it is for me to be back in Kentucky, a great labor state, a great labor state, brothers and sisters. I see a lot of familiar faces with us tonight, brothers and sisters that I knocked with, walked with, and talked with in 2006. And wasn't 2006 a wonderful year? Wasn't it a great year? It was a wonderful year. I believe it was the best year I've ever had in my life. But let me tell you, when I went home in 2006 on election night, my butt was dragging. Little fat boy's been walking all day long, knocking on doors and trying to get out that boat. I was dragging, I was tired, I was aching all over. But brothers and sisters, when I sat down and turned on that TV and I started seeing things that I saw happen on that TV, man, I started feeling good. And you know, one of the things that got me the most excited, I was watching, they started talking about Kentucky and Northrop and John Yarmouth. And lo and behold, the wicked witch is gone, isn't she, brothers and sisters? She is gone. You know who made that possible? Organized labor. You, the brothers and sisters in Kentucky, made that happen. Kentucky labor's amazing, brothers and sisters. It's wonderful. When we stop and we think, you know, we out-organize, we out-mobilize the anti-union worker forces and the corporate forces in the state of Kentucky. We beat the crap out of them last time, and we're going to do it again tomorrow, trust me. We're going to bring home another victory for the great state of Kentucky. We're going to elect Steve Bashir, the candidate that's for organized labor and that's for working men and women in this country. We're not going to stop tomorrow till we bring this home. And brothers and sisters, you know, when I start thinking about, you know, organized labor, I think about corporations, I think all those things, I understand why big corporations don't like us. We want our fair share of the pie. But I don't understand political candidates. They ought to know better, right? They should know better. After all, they're the ones that have to raise the taxes for health care when non-union workers don't get it at the work site, right? They have to do that, brothers and sisters. They have to raise the taxes to provide food stamps and housing vouchers when employers aren't paying us enough money. So why does politicians not understand that they should be out there and that unions is a good word in this country. It is an excellent word. A few things that you know about your, uh, your fixing to be former governor, Ernie Fletcher, you know, I want to tell you, you talk about corruption, is that corruption at its highest level? Absolute highest level. When I start thinking about the things that he did in this state, you know, to set up uh, all the business crap that he did and to try to get rid of, of a state system that deals with merit protection for workers and take care of public sector employees. That's the type of things I want to see gone and I want to see gone forever in the state of Kentucky and the entire United States. I can, brothers and sisters, I can tell you, tomorrow evening, when you think about Ernie Fletcher, that's just going to be a bad memory, is in our lives. He's going to be gone. He is gone. 
we're going to have a governor in this great state that supports collective bargaining, that supports the right to have a contract, that supports public sector employees and their right to bargain, a governor that will take care of working men and women, and a governor that supports a higher minimum wage for the state of Kentucky. That's the type of governor we're going to have tomorrow. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, tomorrow is another beginning. We're coming off the defense. We're going on the offense. We're going to be on the offense. We're going to start making things happen in this country. Working people are taking back this country for the working men and women and for our children. I want you to just think a little bit about what tomorrow is going to be about. Tomorrow is going to be about the fact that you know on election day we can elect someone who's going to stand up and think about universal pre-K for all children in the state of Kentucky.